Hello everyone, welcome back to the Craft TV channel. So if this is your first time on this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like and share my videos. And also, don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you'll be updated every time I upload a new video. To my returning subscribers, thank you guys so so very much for coming back to watch my videos. I love you all and I appreciate you. So in today's video, we are going to be learning how to sew a yogurt sleeve. So this sleeve is two in one sleeve. It's a pencil sleeve and there's going to be a puff on the upper side of the sleeve. To cut this puff sleeve, you need fabric, you can use the same fabric for both the puff and the pencil side or you can choose to use two different fabric, two different colors to make it more attractive and also you need measuring tape, ample curve, straight ruler, scissors, you need chalk and then pen and paper to calculate your measurements. So let's get started. So I'll be using this two beautiful fabric in front of me here. I'm going to be using this one for the puffy side and then I'm going to be using this one for the pencil sleeve. So making this sleeve, you need your basic pencil sleeve pattern to cut your sleeve. But I'm going to cut this sleeve again for the sake of those viewing us for the first time. I have on my channel how to draft a basic sleeve pattern and I'll be leaving the link on my comment section and also down the description box if you want to know the details how to draft the basic sleeve pattern then i have the video on my channel you will go there and watch it for more understanding so to draft your basic sleeve pattern you need your cap height and my cap height is five inches And you need your elbow length and then your sleeve length and the sleeve length i'm using is 22 inches plus one inch hemming allowance so it's 23 inches this is 23 inches and then for my sleeve points to the elbow is 11 inches So to start with, you need to run your arm hole measurement. My arm hole is 18 inches. 18 inches, you divide it by 2. And whatever you get, you put on the cap height line. I got 9 inches. And around my elbow is 12 inches. 12 divided by 2 is 6 inches. So I have 6 Six inches here and my wrist is nine inches nine inches divided by two is four and a half inches so I mark four and a half inches here so my cap height is five inches and my elbow is 11 inches and then my sleeve length is 22 inches so around my arm is 18 inches divided by two nine inches my around the elbow is 12 inches divided by two is six inches and then my wrist nine inches divided by two is four and a half inches the tip of your sleeve you are going to draw a straight line to meet up the ample point here so this line 
you are going to find a midpoint nine and a half you are going to fold it into two so that you can get the midpoint so this is my midpoint 4.75 on this point you are going to go up by half an inch and from this point you are going to draw a straight line to meet the biceps line and then here you are going to need the ample curve to connect it from here to this point this is for the back armhole and to get the front armhole you are going to connect from this point to the tip of the sleeve here and then you turn your armhole curve like so to get the down part so you are going to connect from here also to this point so this is the back armhole this is the front ample. So I'm going to add one inch seam allowance. I added one inch seam allowance on the bicep line and on the elbow line I added one inch seam allowance and on the wrist I added one inch seam allowance. So I'm going to connect from the elbow to the wrist. But when I get to the one inch, I will just bend it a little bit. And then from the bicep line to the elbow, you don't have to connect it straight like this. You use your curve ruler to curve it a bit. So I finish with the sleeve. This is the pencil sleeve we are going to be using for the pop so I'm going to cut it I'm cutting the back elbow the up one first I'm not here and then trim off the front arm hole So this is the back armhole and this is the front armhole. This is the back armhole. You see the front one is a little deeper than the back armhole. So this is my pencil sleeve. Next, you are going to be determining where you want your puff to stop. But in my case, I want the puff to stop at the elbow line so it's 11 inches because we want the puff to drop a bit so that it will cover the stitch line you need to add about five inches or four six depending on what you want but in my case i'm adding five inches to it so you calculate from your shoulder to your elbow is 11. 11 plus the 5 inch is 16 inches. So you are going to cut your puff by 16 inches by the radius. So I'm going to notch where the elbow is. So now we are going to the puffy side. I'm going to be using this fabric for the puff. I need about one yard. One yard is okay. The next thing to do, you have to measure the top of your sleeve from one end to this end. And then you mark where you want the puff to end on the elbow line so i already notch the elbow line i'm going to make a straight line here to guide me for the puff i run my armhole 
I got 19, 19.75 inches. And this 19.75, I'm going to be dividing it by 4 to cut the flare. I'm going to put this aside and cut the puff. So this is my fabric for the puffy area. I'm using this for the puff. This is the wrong side and this is the good side. And I'm going to fold it in a triangular form like a half circle. You see, this is open, this is closed. I'm not going to use the savage area. I'm going to cut it out so that we can work. When you are trimming it off, make sure you don't cut the folded part. So I've already measured the top of the sleeve and I got almost almost 20 inches so what I'm going to do now is to divide this 20 by 4 by doing so I got 5 inches so 5 inches is what I'm going to look for a mark here for the armhole but if you want a little gathering a little pleat at the shoulder point here of the puff you should add more inches to the radius. I'm going to add some inches so that when gathering it, you can get some gathers along this area. Don't forget also, from the tip to the elbow is 11 inches. But if you cut the puff exactly 11 inches, it will not give you that droppy effect. You should add some inches. It depends on how much fabric you have. So I'm adding 5 inches. So I'm cutting the flare 16 inches. I hope everything is clear. Okay? Okay. So first of all, I'm going to find the 5 inch here for the radius. Don't forget you fold it like half a circle when you are cutting half a circle. This is my five inches, but because I want a little goddess at the shoulder side, I'm going to add about two inches. So I'm not going to cut on this five inches. I'm going to cut on this and from here I'm going to measure 16 inches and I'm going to add half an inch for the sewing so 16 and a half that's for the puff that's the length of the puff this is it this for the neckline and this for the down part. So I'm going to cut it out. So I'm going to notch here. This is on the shoulder point. And I'm going to mark this also. So this is it. This is the radius part. It's going to go up here. It's going to go up here and it will get some pleats. And then the down part, I'm going to mark the midpoint here. So this is the midpoint here. So where I notch, it's going to be here. So you see how the circle look like. This is half a circle. So this upper side is going to go, is going to go here. Either you pleat it or you gather it, whatever you want. And this big side 
the down part is going to go on this elbow line so what i'm going to do is i'm going to plate my own as i said if the plating will be difficult for you you can gather it you run you run a running stitch with your machine and gather it. so this is it you are going to gather the down part like this this is the good side you are not going to gather it like this towards the dam no you are going to gather it or pleat it like so you start like this on this line you see the midpoints and the midpoint together you pleat it like this so you consume all the fabric here you come to this side also that I'll be doing it and come and show you how it come out and then after you turn it like this this is the droppy effects I talk about this is it then you turn it to the other side of the shoulder and then gather it there too or pleat it there too it start looking nice already so guys I'll go I'll take it to my machine and then pleat it and then come and show you the down part before we move on to the upside so guys you see you see I pleated the bottom side of the puffy side so you see how it look you see very beautiful so you see the down part I pleated it I pin it so that I can get it nicely the next thing is to attach the upper part to the sleeve so you see I notch the midpoint already and I notch the midpoint of the sleeve so I'm going to align the notches together like so so what you are going to be doing is to is to pleat all these ones the left over here you pleat it at the shoulder and then you come to the left side and then you do the same here you attach it like this so you read the upper side and then you pleat it a bit so I'll pleat it and show to you now. So you can see how I pin it, and I added some pleats here on the upper side. You see, I look. So I'm going to stitch on it and come back. So I'm done sewing the down part of the puff and then the upper part of the puff. So this is how it look. Now I'm going to cross the sides. I've already held the bottom side with one inch allowance I left. So this is it. So next, I'm going to cross the sides like this. You pack the fabric inside like so. And then you lay it flat like this. Let's flat like this, and then I'm going to cross it with the one inch seam allowance I left. I'll sew it with one inch up to the bottom side, and then I'll be back to show you guys. So, our sleeve is ready now. You see the damp parts drip well. Look at how nice it's look how beautiful it looks. So this is our sleeve. So we have come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. If you find this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing, like and share to your loved ones to support my channel. Watch out for my next video. 
Bye.